Just weeks ahead of saying I do to Prince Harry, Meghan Markle has made another important step securing her UK visa application The former Suits actress was spotted in Chicago's VFS Global UK Visa Application Center, where she is said to have forked out over $1,500 for the Fast Track Premium service Megan 36, attempted to go incognito for her appointment, dressed down in dark shades and a white socks baseball cap Sources told TMZ Megan arrived with four bodyguards in tow, but an onlooker still managed to get a sneaky snap of the royal bride-to-be which was posted online Based on her application criteria, Meghan most likely went for a family visa ahead of her marriage to Prince Harry on May 19 With the ceremony now just weeks away, the Los Angeles native will be glad to have ticked one more thing off her do list in the run-up to her big day But one person who is not so happy with some of Meghan's plans is her sister Samantha The daughter of Meghan's father Thomas has claimed it was in poor taste to exclude her from the nuptials she took to social media to vent her frustration once it became apparent she and other family members have not received invitations to the ceremony on May 19 And speaking to the Daily Mirror today, she said, Meghan cannot say she only wants to invite close friends and family and yet exclude the Markles, who have always been there for her Closeness has nothing to do with it, it is incumbent upon her to do the morally right thing and invite family and demonstrate she has a humanitarian heart She added, it is proper etiquette and tradition to invite family and bad to invite absolute strangers It is in poor taste when family are excluded. Meghan has been described as a humanitarian for her charity work before she met her future husband But Samantha said, a humanitarian would never exclude 10 family members in lieu of inviting 2,000 strangers Meghan's half-sister has been left off the guest list along with her brother Thomas Markle Jr., his former wife Tracy Dooley and their sons Thomas and Tyler Dooley Kensington Palace has announced 2,640 people from around the UK will be invited to Windsor Castle's grounds to watch the couple arrive at St George's Chapel and leave as man and wife But they revealed this week that no UK or foreign dignitaries will be on the guest list for one of 600 seats inside the chapel, meaning there is no place for PM Theresa May and US President Donald Trump 